Meanwhile, Deputy Prime Minister Richard Miles doubled down on defending the government's visa checking process when speaking on Sunday Agenda this morning. Our confidence in those security agencies uh, is, is as high today as it ever has been. We have confidence in them and you know what? So do the opposition. And, and they run an assessment across everyone who enters this country, no matter what visa they're coming on and no matter what the circumstances of, of, of that entry is. And that has applied in relation to, to this cohort that has come to Australia. Kel, Richard Miles was asked a number of times why these Gazans were given visitor visas and not the usual humanitarian visas. He seemed unable to or did not want to answer the question directly. Four times, I think it was. Do you, do you uh, accept his defence of the process? Oh, of course not. No. Uh, what he doesn't understand is evasion sounds like evasion. It doesn't fool anyone. We know that he's evading and he's not addressing the question. It looks like the three-card trick. We're going to bring him in on tourist visas because tourists are people who go away again. So you think they'll go away again? No, they won't because once they get here, then we'll interview them and then we'll make them per permanent... So the whole thing is... A, the whole thing looks like a really shifty, underhanded, shady trick, hence the evasion, which Parliament has seen a week off, and we now saw this morning on television. So it, it is evasion. It looks like evasion. It's, it's a really dumb thing to do. It's a kind of inability to read the room, to understand where are most Australians? What do most Australians think about this? Australians want proper screening. And we keep hearing the opposition talk about what they did with 12,000 from Syria, where they were, they were processed in a third country and everyone was interviewed face-to-face. -face. None of that's gone on. They keep saying, ASIO did something. ASIO did what? There was no biometric testing. We've got no idea whether these people are who they say they are or are who, who they are on the documents issued by Hamas, the only government uh, in uh, Gaza. So we've got no idea whether any of that is true. It's not properly tested. It can't be proper. ASIO ran its eye over a list, uh, but they haven't been screened. We know they haven't been screened. This man is the Minister for Defence. The main job that every national government has is the defence of its people, is security. This is a security risk. All of these people might turn out to be lovely. None of them may ever bomb anything, but you've got to make sure. But well, I think isn't the problem is that if you say, all right, there has to be the same humanitarian, because that obviously what happens if you're giving a humanitarian visa, it's a lengthier process. It is more robust. But, again, it takes a long, long time. Now, as Kel said... All those people were screened over many, many months. I think in some cases it took up to 12 months. Uh, in, a third, in, a third, 12 in a third months. party country. Yes. There is no third party country here. So well, if then, you, but so maybe there's a reason for that. No, no, I know Why there's a reason for that. No I, know, I, know, I know the Arab states are, <laughs> are playing politics with people's lives. They're using these people as human shields. I've said it a thousand times. We know what they are doing. We know they are they using them. They haven't tried to find they, a third place. If they, they, if they, they went they, to not the Middle East, but another Muslim country like Indonesia, we don't know they've even tried to find a third But the borders are closed, Kel. The borders have been closed for three months. Like, no one can get out. So, but I don't yeah, but the point is when people were getting out, so, they made no effort Freya, to do that. I, I don't properly. understand why we have to be the guinea pigs in this scenario of testing out whether it's going to be a good idea or not for national security to bring people in from a terrorist enclave with minimal, it seems, screening. In some cases, as little as an hour. In many cases, 24 hours. Kel raised a good point, and I think the government keeps resorting to this argument that the opposition is bringing this up as a distraction, but national security should be the key uh, role that the government has, protecting it.